good morning students today we are going to learn fourth standard lesson 2 physical features of tamil nadu tamil nadu is located in the south of india it is the 11th largest state in india it has boundaries with andhra pradesh in the north karnataka karnataka on the northwest indian ocean on the south kerala on the west bay of bengal on the east tamil nadu extends up to kanyakumari which forms the southern most tip of india it is the meeting point of arabian sea indian ocean and bay of bengal the pulicat lake is situated at the northern end of tamil nadu okay Andhra Pradesh on the north Karnataka on the northwest Indian Ocean on the south Kerala on the west Bay of Bengal on the east Then we are going to learn about the mountains Tamil Nadu is the is the only state in India which has both the western ghats and eastern ghats They meet at the Nilgiri Hills in Tamil Nadu. Tottapetta is the highest peak in Nilgiri Hills. Tamil Nadu has various hill stations like Ooty, Kodaikanal, Kolli Hills, Kodagiri and Yerkan. The Western Ghats do not get enough rainfall unlike the Western Ghats which receives the lot of rainfall. The plantations grown in these ghats include tea, coffee and spices. Tamil Nadu has rich flora and fauna. Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary, Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary and National Park in Anai Malai are in the western ghats of the state. There are a variety of plant species found in them. The kurunji shrub is the most special of them all. Kurunji flowers blooms once in 12 years. Kurunji flowers blooms once in 12 years. Next, we are going to learn about the plateaus. There are three plateaus in Tamil Nadu. Namely, Barama, namely Baramahal Plateau, Kaimathur Plateau and Madurai Plateau. plateau there are many small hills between these plateaus chennimalai is one among those hills in erode chennimalai is one among those hills in erode then next plains plains in tamil nadu can be divided into river plains and coastal plains plains in tamil nadu can be divided into river plains and coastal plains river plains rivers pala cheyar penna and vellar form the northern plains rivers pala cheyar penna and vellar form the northern plains the middle river plain is formed by kaveri and its tributaries rivers pala seya penna and vella form the northern plains the middle river plain is formed by kaveri and its tributaries river vaiye and thamirabarani form the southern plains river vaiye and thamirabarani form the southern plains river Seyar is the tributary of river Pala. It is a seasonal river that flows through the district of Tiruvannamalai. River Seyar is a tributary of river Pala. It is a seasonal river that flows through the district of Tiruvannamalai. Okay, the next coastal plains. Coastal plains of Tamil Nadu are also called cholamandalam cholamandalam plains 
which extend from chennai to kanyakumari which extends from chennai to kanyakumari coastal plains of tamil nadu are also called cholamandalam cholamandalam plains which extend from chennai to kanyakumari then next coast tamil nadu has the third longest coastline in india tamil nadu has the third longest coastline in india the coastal region extends from chennai to kanyakumari pamban island forms a part of ramanathapuram it separates gulf of mannar and pearl strait 13 districts share the coastline 13 districts share the coastline the notable beaches of tamil nadu are marina beach the second longest urban beach in the world marina beach the second longest urban beach in the world rameswaram beach is famous for its beautiful view kanyakumari beach is famous for its beautiful views of sunrise and sunset over the water sunrise and sunset over the water marina beach the second longest urban beach in the world rameswaram beach is famous for its beautiful view kanyakumari beach is famous for its beautiful views of sunrise and sunset over the water a pamban bridge is rames in rameswaram is india's first sea bridge opened in the year 1914 pamban bridge in rameswaram is india's first sea bridge opened in the year 1914 okay students i hope you all understood this lesson i will continue the remaining lesson to the next video thank you